Welcome to Potential Props, Inc. Here you will find props made from redesigned and modified found objects, which may have unique shapes and characteristics. Many times, the found item can be used as the catalyst to create one-of-a-kind devices using inventive ideas, novel approaches, and creative thinking. This website will cover most of my builds using my ink technique. I went ahead and added the uh, silver banding uh, around the ends of the rods. Uh, that's so that the LEDs aren't totally visible when they're lit. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up here and you can kind of get the idea uh, of what it is I'm uh, going for here. Let me uh, focus. Okay, so that's what we look like, and it's uh, it's sort of a, I guess it's a, more of a aluminum color rather than chrome tape. It's uh, more of an aluminum tape rather than the super shiny chrome, but uh, that's kind of what the effect is that I'm uh, I'm going for on this. Okay, I'll get back to you when I've uh, updated it a little more and maybe possibly I will have the, uh, the wiring done so that this is actually will be on top of this. This is how it actually more or less looks with the top on the prop. What will happen is uh, when the push button here on the side is pressed, uh, not only will the motor be activated to raise a kind of a shield, but it will also light the end, uh, uh, blue LEDs there on the end. Possibly when the shield comes up as well, it'll hide it from the perspective of the user here, but if you're scanning something, it reflects more down on the surface of what you're scanning. So that's the, the purpose of the shield. And also there's a hole, a small hole in the shield itself. I'll probably maybe put uh, an LED in that hole as well. Okay, I managed to um, get the two blue LEDs hooked into the circuit uh, of the motor that moves forward and back. Right now, the motor is in the back position now, or the, the part that moves is in the back portion now. So when I press the button here on the side, uh, the two rods here, the two brass rods and the two screws will move forward, and at the same time, uh, the blue LEDs will come in the front. So there we go. So basically it goes into the scan mode and the shield, uh, the idea of the shield that comes out, since this is uh, high radiation, it protects the user from any kind of radiation that escapes around the top portion of the emitter part here. So when the shield comes out, it, uh, it uh, sh shields the user. So, but basically right now we're getting full exposure. So there we go.